What's up everyone, in this video I'm going to be installing this universal oil catch can on my Focus ST. I got this on Amazon for I think about $20 and I can't link it in the description because they actually took this exact one off Amazon. I already checked but you can find one like this on Amazon or eBay. It's like this same model and a lot of different sellers sell it. You can kind of look at it. It looks the same. They come in like red black and blue i think and it says oil catch can right there and it has this little dipstick thing on it and don't get one of the ones with the breather because i've heard bad reviews about the ones with the breather filter on the top but i made this little bracket right here out of some spare plastic i had laying around and some bolts and i'm gonna mount mine right here on the battery tie down just like that and then i'll put the a 10 millimeter bolt on that and the hoses will run down underneath the intake manifold i believe we have to take that off but the hit the kit comes with this blue hose right here you do not want to use this stuff if your kit comes with the same hose you want to buy your own hose like this that has wire in it to keep it from kinking and it's a lot stronger and it also comes with all of the stuff you need to put it together so first I'm going to put on these fittings right here, which I already have some ready. This kit was actually pretty nice. It came uh, with different screws and O-rings and spare, I don't even know what these are called, but it comes with two extras of these. And it also comes with O-rings to seal them. And I'm also gonna add some of this thread seal tape around them just to make sure that they get a good seal going in here. And after I get the whole thing assembled, you, I'll show you mine in case you have the same one I have. But this install will be basically for any universal catch can that like, you know, they have uh, kits that are specifically made for this car, but this is made for any car. So I'm just gonna show you how to get it all to work and an idea on how to mount it. So I'm gonna get mine assembled and then we will get started installing it. After you have your catch can where you need it to be, we will be removing the intake manifold just with a 10 millimeter on these two extensions to get to a bolt. There's a bolt there, 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 and then there's one down inside there. And just make sure that these are unclipped so you can pull it back and get all those bolts out and then pull the intake manifold back. So I'm going to try to remove the whole intake manifold. So you'll need to remove, unplug the sensor right here. And then there will be this sensor right here, which is on a little clip and just pull to the left and it'll slide off the clip. And that is loosened up. Make sure this is all loosened up. And if you have a sound symposer or routed the true vacuum, make sure you take this off. Then you'll have to loosen this clamp right here at the bottom of the intake manifold. I got, I was able to get a screwdriver down in there and loosen the screw. And once you have that loosened up, you should be able to pull the whole intake manifold out. There is a sensor that plugs in right here. It's this one right here. I spent so long trying to get this one out because I didn't know this red tab was here. But put your fingernail under this red tab and pull it out then you can plug uh get this sensor out of the way and then you can just take off the intake manifold off the charge pipe and it comes off just like that and now it'll be a lot easier to reach down in there and get the hoses set up now you'll need to remove this hose move this piece remove this piece off of the hose here and then remove the hose off the green piece right there just a razor to cut this hose right here to get it off it's kind of like a plastic hose it's really hard to get off so i just cut it with a razor and then i'm going to do the same thing to get off this piece right here next you'll want to connect one of your hoses to this plastic piece that we took off earlier and then clamp it back into the intake and then take your other hose and clamp it back on to the green piece and i added a zip tie on both of them just to make sure that they stay clamped on there and then now we're going to route them to the catch can next you want to reroute the hose from the pcv side right here make sure that this is all connected and 
good right there. Then you'll take your hose from there and put it on the inside of your catch can so the air will be flowing this way. It'll go in the catch can and come out to this side where we will attach the other hose. So here is where you will attach the in hose and then you will take the hose going from the intake manifold and connect it to the outside. I'm gonna trim my hose just a little bit because it's a little bit too long and then I'll add a hose clamp on the hose and then attach it and tighten them down. Now it's time to reassemble everything. So take the uh, throttle body sensor, plug that in first and then get the hose onto the charge pipe and tighten that down and then we will worry about the connectors over here. So I kind of forgot to record most of the process, but pretty much all you have to do is start with plugging all the sensors back in. Once you have that, you'll have to get the charge pipe back in, which was really hard. I had to have someone else come help me and press on the top of the intake manifold while I reached underneath the car and pressed up on the charge pipe. And I eventually got it on and then I had to reach in there and tighten the screw, which was also really hard to do but it ended up working i hope so i'm gonna go test drive it and make sure everything works and i'm gonna trim these lines a little bit and make them fit right but just make sure all of your sensors are plugged in everything is clipped back and there's no stress on anything and torque down all of the bolts on the intake manifold to 14 foot pounds starting from the middle and moving outwards and then you should have your catch can installed so please leave a like and subscribe and thanks for watching.